Good morning everyone. How are you? I hope you are fine. Uh, today our lesson will be about the reptiles. These are all reptiles. How amazing. Today we will learn about them. I am teacher Mirna Al Karut. This is grade 2 and we are teaching subject science. Let's start. Are you ready? Now let's look together on some reptiles. This is the turtle. Do you know that the turtle is a reptile? Yes, it is a reptile. How about the snake? The snake is also a reptile. Do you know that? Now what is this? This is the crocodile. The crocodile is also a reptile. How about the lizard? Yes, it is also a reptile. So all of these are reptiles. Now let's look together and see what do reptiles have that other animals don't have. Let's start. Now let's start with the turtle. What do you see here? What does the turtle have? What does the turtle have? What are these? These on the shell of the turtle we call scales. What do we call them? These are scales. Now look on a real turtle. Can you see the scales? Yes, these are the scales. It is, all of this is a scale and it is connected to other scales. Can you see? This is another scale connected to it and this is another scale connected to it. So, these are connected scales. Now, how about the crocodile? Look at the crocodile. Let's look closely at its body and see oh look at that can you see those these are also scales do you know that and they are connected also so the crocodile also has connected scales how about the snake is the snake a reptile what do you think yes we said it's a reptile does the snake have uh, uh, scales like the others? Let's, Mr. Turtle, look and tell us. Look at that. Can you see the scales? These are all the scales. Let's have a closer look. Can you see them? These are the scales of the uh, snake. So yes, the snake also has connected scales. So the first thing that we learned about reptiles is that reptiles have connected scales. What do they have? Connected scales. Don't forget to write it down. Now I want to ask you, didn't fish have scales also? We learned about the fish, right? What are these? These are called scales, right? So, yes, it has scales, but it's not a reptile. No, it's a fish. No, don't be confused. I will explain for you right now. Now, can you remember how can the fish breathe? underwater do you remember what does the fish have what are these what did we call them these are the gills so the fish live underwater right so it breathes underwater through what through gills through what through gills how about the turtle or any reptile reptiles live on land so above water they don't need gills they breathe air through what 
through lungs. What do we call them? Lungs. Do you know what are the lungs? These are the lungs. We breathe air through lungs. So reptiles have lungs. Now, among reptiles, can you see any differences? For example, how is the turtle different from the snake? Can you see any differences? How many legs does the turtle have? This turtle has four legs, right? Now, how about the snake? Yes, the snake has no legs. We knew that before, right? So, if some reptiles have legs and some don't, this is the third information we learned about reptiles, that some reptiles have legs. So, what did we learn today? I want you to write down on your copy books. Uh, what did we learn? First, I want you to write your name, of course, and the date, the title of our lesson for today, which is reptiles. And tell me, what did we learn? We learned reptiles have connected scales. We also learned reptiles have lungs. And some reptiles have legs. This is our lesson for today, my dear students. I hope you enjoyed it. Study well and good luck. Goodbye, everyone.